Hello, welcome back to Rev Endurance Sports and another edition of, heck, I don't know, uh, maybe some tips for the road series. Uh, today is Monday, September the 20th, and on Saturday, I was out for a bike ride with my small crew, and we went out for a 10,000 foot climbing uh, day, which is I wouldn't call it the norm, but it is the goal on Saturday mornings. And something happened to me that I want to share with you. And hopefully this will prevent um, the end of the ride for you or being stuck out in a boonie somewhere or whatever. So, but we, before we get to the topic of the day, please, um, if you find the content on my channel interesting, please like and subscribe and please share this amongst your friends there's a notification bell there for you to hit and then you'll get notified when i post a new video okay so let's talk about what uh, happened to me on saturday and how this might be a good thing for you and or your friends um, to carry along with you so um i ride a pair of cleats that um, they come apart so if you are replacing your your cleats let's just say they're worn or something you can take this off like a jigsaw puzzle okay and you you take the, the screw out pull this off and then on the new cleat the new like let's say the new nose piece you put that on tighten that down and then you can take the bottom portion out and then put the new portion in. I love these kinds of cleats because you never have to guess where your cleat, your new cleat is going to go. Now, obviously you can trace around it with a gray Sharpie. You can do other types of things, but this is pretty brainless, right? You take the nose piece off, put the new one on, so on and so forth. However, if you're out riding and that's the, the cleat screw that comes out, well, <laughs> then your cleat is pretty much useless, right? If it's the one of the two on the bottom, not a problem. And so that's what happened to me on Saturday. I think we were about 20 miles into the ride, about 3,000 feet into the ride. And we still had 7,000 feet to climb and somehow the cleat screw fell out. Things happen like that. And this piece fell out. And so <laughs> I had to double back on the course, look around, look around, look around. And I couldn't believe I found it because obviously it's black, pavement is black. And um, luckily I was able to double back as well. It wasn't a high traffic area, it was a residential area. So. I couldn't find the screw that would go in here. So instead, I had to take one of these two out to put it in here. So then I had this thought, I'm like, well, it's rare that this would happen, by the way. <coughs> Excuse me. But if it does happen to you or one of your riding mates, why am I not carrying an extra cleat screw? It doesn't take up that much space. It doesn't weigh anything, right? So... I've decided, okay, I'm gonna carry a spare cleat screw in my tool bag. It's probably a silly thing. This will probably never happen again, but maybe it'll happen to one of my riding friends or someone on the side of the road. Um, and I just, just wanted to point out that washers come in different shapes and sizes. So you gotta make sure that the washer you are carrying with you will fit in the slot and, you know, like for example, this one from Shimano will not fit. So if you're thinking about helping someone else, maybe you'll want to carry one of the smaller type of washers and basically everyone else, that thread inside there is the same for every shoe, right? That's a standard thread. So you might be able to help someone. Now, where this might fall apart on you is if you ride speed play cleats because they have a different um, type of 
cleat screw and usually it's a four bolt pattern as well instead of a three bolt pattern so um, anything about speed plate cleats is you, you can't tighten them down too much otherwise the spring inside their uh, the retention spring will not release the pedal so working in other bike shops I've had to replace a cleat screw for someone riding speed plate pedals way more than I've had to replace cleats for these but anyway that's all for today just wanted to let you know that these kinds of things happen you could lose a cleat screw in my case it now rendered this cleat useless until I was able to replace or remove one of the ones on the side um, fortunately I still had two down here so I moved one to here and I rode the rest of the day this way so tip for you folks today and a question basically when's the last time you checked the tension or the tightness of your cleat screws might be worth checking them out um, in my case I always grease the threads of the cleat screws when I put them in because who knows how long they're gonna be there and they might seize up if there's you know any corrosion and then the shoe is rendered useless just because I didn't grease a, a cleat screw so check your cleat screws and maybe carry a spare one in your tool bag anyway that's what happened to me on Saturday just wanted to pass that along hopefully that helps you save a ride for yourself or one of your friends thank you uh, please like and subscribe and we will see you up the road.